Hey everyone, Carl here with Literate Lessons bringing you a deep dive featuring Kiram White this week. Kiram White is a very interesting Pokemon as it is a Dragon Ice type with decent fire coverage and a really insane special attack stat. Uh, if you're not aware of what Kiram White actually is, it is the fusion of Kiram and Reshiram. Uh, Gen 5 had a lot of these cool fusion like legendaries via Black and White and Black and White 2. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see that some of these fusion things that we like we're used to in Sword and Shield, like with the Calyrex forms and things like that, has already been ha been a thing in previous Pokemon games. But before we get started on Kieran White, make sure to do all that fun YouTube stuff. Comment, like, subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Check out the Discord link in the description. Come join our community. Talk to us about deep dives. Talk to us about VGC. It'd be a great opportunity for you and for us to get to know our audience a little bit better. Kieran White is a very offensive special attacker looking to get into an advantageous position to kind of just sweep through teams. Uh, it's very high special attack stat means that it looks to just deal as much damage as possible while also trying to win a speed control battle to where you get to attack first and just pick up KOs left and right. Um, it's made harder by the removal of Dynamax though because there's no good way to boost your defenses as we saw in Series 8 with Kieran White and, and Kieran Black to an extent. Um, because the one downside that Ice type gives a lot of Pokemon is just the sheer amount of weaknesses. Uh, I think being Ice Dragon, you only remove one weakness, but you gain like another four on top of it. So Ice Dragon isn't the best typing to be for a Pokemon like that. Seeing some play in the tail end of Series 8, Kieran White has kind of struggled to become a powerful threat in this current meta. Uh, like I mentioned, Dragon Ice is a real tough type to use. Um, uh, and the move pull overall for Kieran White is okay at best. Uh, Kieran Black is much worse, whereas physical ice type attacks aren't really a thing. Uh, Kieran White still has access to good special ice type attacks and like freeze dry ice beam and its signature ice burn. Uh, and it also gets access to things like fusion flare, earth power, flash cannon. But even that sometimes isn't enough when your typing is just wrong for a format. Common partners for Kiram uh, tend to be the Pokemon that cover its weaknesses best. Uh, you want to have a lot of good switch ins for your Kiram because a lot of the times your Kiram is going to be your sweeper. It is your offensive threat. Uh, things we normally see alongside Kiram are Pokemon that resist Steel, Fighting, Dragon, Fairy types. Uh, Stack Attack and Landorus are real good partners alongside Kiram White. They are super duper common. Uh, alongside Sizor, what we talked about uh, on Friday, was a common partner on that Sizor Ditto. Kiram White team that uh, Cybertron played. Um, other things are things like uh, Urshifu Water and Cineroar. Intimidate's a real good option for Kiram White because a lot of these types that we're seeing like, that are that can beat it are offensive types to begin with. When we look at the metagame breakdown, we look through and see that, fun fact, it's not an Ice type or a Dragon type move that is the most popular on Kiram White. 94% uh, of all Kiram Whites run Earth Power. Uh, which is just one more percent than freeze dry. Uh, I think this is more due to the fact that freeze dry and all the other ice moves tend to be harder to like pick out. There's more options there rather than I only have access to earth power kind of situation. Uh, speaking of freeze dry, right there below it, 93%. Uh, this is probably one of the best ice type moves in the game because it hits water types, uh, which is super duper relevant right now because if you're hitting water types super effectively, you're hitting Kyogre super effectively. Any water ground type like Gastrodon you get to hit super effectively and things like that. Uh, Draco Meteor is the dragon move of choice. 170 base special attack on top of the 130 base power move. This Draco Meteor usually picks up a KO on something without even having to be like a super effective hit. And then we see Icy Wind here at 78%. Icy Wind is attached to the choice scarf sets. Uh, being able to just go scarf Icy Wind things and slow at the game everyone's opponents down is really really good for Kiram. Uh, the one downside is you're locked in to Icy Wind at that point so you kind of need to switch out and reposition to where you can actually get into a advantageous combat position. And then we see moves like Blizzard and Fusion Flare. Uh, Blizzard's good if you're like playing like a little bit of Ninetales alongside it instead of Pale. And then Fusion Flare is good on like Assault Vest sets where they're looking to take a couple hits and then deal a bunch of damage. As for items, uh, Choice Scarf is the most common item. Uh, this is mainly due because of the, the Choice Scarf Kiram team I, I keep mentioning all the time. Uh, this is where a lot of the usage stats are coming from. Uh, Life Orb is real common too. Uh, Life Orb is what I, see, I was seeing most of the time before the Choice Scarf team uh, was published. 
So life orb was probably a little bit higher before then. 10% uh, usage though is still decent. It's still something you consider when you're looking to build with or play against a Kiram White. And then leftovers here at 2% is more of like just like a bulky thing, people not knowing what to play with it. Uh, I'm assuming these leftover sets tend to be more supportive with like Icy Wind Protect and things like that. When you're looking to build with Kiram White, uh, it can struggle against faster threats like Zacian and Xerneas, so you need to make sure you have some kind of speed control. Like I mentioned, those Scarf sets can outspeed both of those Pokemon uh, pretty easily, uh, but if they have their own Tailwind, you need to make sure you have your own Tailwind. If they have Trick Room, you have to find a way to stop it. Things like that. And making sure to cover Kiram White's weaknesses are critical, as it can't really safely sweep if it's getting hit by a super effective Behemoth Blade or a close combat from a hit on top, things like that. Um, this also means redirection is a really good tool as well. Things like Amoongus and Didi, um, Togekiss to an extent if you're looking at stuff like that, are all good options to kind of pull attacks away from your Kiram White. When we're looking at movesets, uh, insane, Kiram White's insane special attack stat makes most sets able to kind of just lean on other, I, like, other EV spreads and not have to worry about investing in special attack. However, we see that that's not the case in this situation. Uh, a lot of these sets run max special attack, pretty good speed. Uh, the Scarf set you see here is the exact same Scarf set from the uh, Aaron Cybertron team. Um, super duper powerful, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind with Scarf. Uh, 228, if I remember correctly, puts us at 158. So Scarf gets us to 229, I think is what it is, something like that. Um, as for the other two sets here, Life Orb with max special attack, max speed, this is something you pair alongside with like Tailwind to try and outspeed things, Timid Nature still, Freeze Dry, Draco Meteor, Earth Power Protect, super standard coverage. And then this last set, I kind of started playing around and I found an Assault Vest set that works fairly well. Um, we're not going to blow anyone up anytime soon. We do have a very high special attack stat, so we don't need a ton of investment to pick up KOs. Uh, but we're not picking up a ton of neutral hit Okos like we like other sets would. Uh, we still get to run Draco Meteor, Freeze Dry, and Earth Power, but we get to attach Fusion Flare to this set, uh, giving us a little bit of extra coverage uh, in the form of Fire type. Uh, think of something just like weird coverage that we can get there. When you're looking to beat up a Kiram White, uh, it can easily be dispatch dispatched by Steel types since they resist both stabs. Um, but like I mentioned, you need to watch out for Fusion Flare and Earth Power if you're in a 1v1 situation. Uh, Stack Attacka obviously is a real good answer in this format to a lot of the, uh, these uh, powerful restricteds, but Earth Power from a Kiram White is going to Oko you 100% of the time unless you're Sash. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, and though it's super uncommon in Series 10, a well-timed light screen can easily put a damper on the Kiram White's uh, damage output. Uh, pairing it with alongside of things like Snarl as well as real good tools. Uh, if you lower those high stats just one stage, it is a significant drop because it is a fraction of that. Of, it's a fraction, and the way the fractions work, bigger numbers end up being smaller numbers, whereas 100 only ends up being 66, 200 ends up being a, a much bigger drop. To wrap up with Kieran White, uh, Kieran White is a lesser known restricted with serious damage potential. That 170 base special attack stat is really, really high. However, the meta designed, has kind of designed around it to keep it at bay and kind of just push it down. And as those Pokemon start to see less play, Kieran White can definitely make an upswing towards the top of the ladder. As we saw with the Choice Scarf team, it, did, it does really, really well when your opponents aren't expecting it. And with that being said, I want to thank everyone for hanging out and listening to me ramble about Kieran White today. Make sure to check us out on Twitter. Links are in the description. And Twitter handles are on the page. I can't talk today, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, check out the Discord link in the description like I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, Community is great. It helps us out a ton. And remember to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, comment, leave a like, all that fun stuff. Do all the great YouTube stuff. It helps the algorithm. It helps us get noticed by more people. And with that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, throughout the world, and we will see you all on Friday with Suicune. Bye, everyone.